we are on a on a search for adventure. We're on a mission for adventure. If you're going to be a Christian, God has you on an adventure. Uh, the reason why we love the virtues, the virtues of justice, self mastery, prudence, and fortitude, uh, those in particular, because they they prepare us for the battle that God's calling us to. And then the three theological virtues of faith, hope, and love. But you know, I live uh, in Florida half the time and in Hawaii half the time. When I'm with my friends in Hawaii. Uh, I don't, I don't paddle out in 20-foot-plus surf anymore, but back in the day when I did, uh, that's a very dangerous thing to do. It's about, it's about the most dangerous thing you can do is to surf big waves. But before you paddle out, you know, you, you wax your board, you sit and you time the sets, you look for what direction the swell is from and the intervals, and you, and you just check everything out. You, in other words, it takes prudence in order to go out and paddle big surf. The same thing is here in Florida on, in the evenings. Sometimes it's really cool. I'll sit on my lanai and I'll look over towards the space coast and I'll see they're about to launch a rocket into space. And, uh, and uh, they actually do that. They, you know, I can see the rocket go up and now I even see sometimes the rocket lands. Um, God requires us to be bold. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. To actually be able to walk on the field with, you know, Bruce Smith and Jim Kelly and Andre Reed and all these all pros, all Hall of Famers, Daryl Talley backing him up and Cornelius Bennett. So it was a fascinating thing. And as you entered into it, there, I'm going to be honest, it was a lot of fear. I was... Uh, I was lonely. You were always every day literally being threatened to be cut because you made a mistake. So uh, in that uh, fear and I would say loneliness, uh, I started to reach out and started to really think I was always, I would say, close to God. So it wasn't that I'd left that, but I wasn't close and I didn't really understand our Catholic faith. So I didn't use the power, uh, the power of the sacraments and all that from a strength perspective and just a holiness perspective. You know, as you grow in holiness, you grow in strength. And Amen. Uh, but, say that one know, more time. Say that one more time. Yeah. As you as you grow in holiness, you grow in strength. And awesome. think about that. Yeah, it, it, it's very powerful. And um, as I went through that journey, he said, Kevin, no one has a right to kill an innocent child. And that like arrow of truth hit me like, yeah. Right. He goes, you know what your problem is? You need to get back to confession. Mm. And then that was it. So those that are listening, that if you haven't been to confession, that was if I had to say, what was it that brought me really back and allowed the scales to fall off my eyes and enter into the Catholic experience? It was that he, his his nudge and push and kick allowed that to happen. It's a powerful it's powerful and so unique to the Catholic Church. Uh, and I've heard time and time again men saying that it was the moment that they went to confession mm. and what happened there, the grace, the forgiveness and the grace that was released yeah. there that brought them roaring back you know, uh, uh, to the Catholic faith. But again, there you are. There's this kind of fear of man. You're going to have to go sit in front Someone. Yes. And, well, here's what I did. Yeah. You know, Bear, it's interesting. You talk about I, and I, I love trying to explain this to guys. Guys are now building and have good time together. And then now the next step of, for us with Men of Christ is what you had asked about, which is this unification. How do you unite all men's ministry? So uh, there, Matthew Christoph, uh, Robert Tummeyer, Father Larry Richards, uh, Deacon Harold Burke Sivers, and another guy with Men of Christ, Matthew Strub, who's a colonel um, in the uh, in uh, the army. He, uh, we've come together to you try to unite all Catholic men's ministries throughout the country. It's called Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance, CMLA. And we literally don't even have a website yet. We're just moving that fast. We had a summit in Milwaukee in June of this year, and it was amazing. We rapidly put this thing together. We had guys as far as Singapore coming in. That tells you the hunger that men have it. And we really have this desire to create an outreach format for us as Catholics to bring men back into the fold. Hey, man. 
I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.